my name's Ava. And my name's Alexis. And we are the, the McClaw Twins. Twins! And today we have our pants with us because... Because they're in trouble and they're going to get a spanking. No! Because, because you're going to be asking us anything. anything. We told them anything in life that they want to ask, they can ask today. So, bum bum bum! Rules of the game. You need to be honest. Okay, let's get started. What's your biggest regret in life? Okay. I have to. Okay, I have to be honest, huh? Yes. My biggest regret turned into my biggest triumph, actually, because I got you girls. So, so what are you saying your regret is that you did not want to have them? Is that what you're no, saying? No, no, no. He wanted a ki kid, but she didn't want, like... No, my biggest regret... You don't want two. You don't no, want twins. No, that's okay. not... You guys really put words in my mouth. Making a certain choice with a certain somebody. What do you mean? But I have you girls. Okay, I have to understand. I think okay, some people yeah, know what we're talking turn, about. Your turn. And what's your biggest regret? Come My on. biggest regret is out of school, I could have taken a modeling contract and traveled the world. I'm about to leave because he's he's not telling the truth. Just I I I the, you're starting the first thing off I with see. false I statements. I didn't take the modeling contract though. False statements. I did statements. not take the modeling he's contract. Exactly. Not, I said, not, in the, not in the 1980s. <laughs> in this year, it's back in the old days. Okay. It's in, right now. Okay, I'll be honest. My biggest regret probably would be in relationships, like taking advantage of others, you know, you thinking with my... Year. When I was doing comedy, mean jokes that I had. I also learned from them and you became a better person. So I would rather have those regrets and have me be the person that I am now than I guess not have done them and not know who I would be. Oh, that was deep. Uh, someone I'm sexy and I know it. Well, we're under that. I'll do that. I'm sexy and I know it. Dustin, she's giving you editing tips. Edit, editing notes editing for dad. Notes. What was your dream as a child? Let's hear it, Justin. My biggest dream as a child was to be probably a professional basketball player. That's you serious? And soccer. So all I did was play soccer. That's terrible. All I did was play basketball. We were also really poor, so I could only play basketball on a dirt court that was sideways. When I was the girl's age, soccer. By the time I was 12 or so, I wanted to be a basketball player. By the time I was 15, I wanted to be a professional dancer because I was uh, dancing the MC that Hammer. That I will laugh at. Let's that, get it started. That, that, MC Hammer. Stop. Hammer time. That is, doesn't make no sense because you're not a good dancer and you don't want to be a dancer. Tell him. This is Ale how you did. Alexis. Alexis. We can't even get you to move your foot one bit now. So why do you want to be a dancer? Well, I move my foot if I need to kick your butt. <laughs> <laughs> I started playing basketball in third grade, I think, and I fell in love with it and played all throughout high school. College. Like when I got to college, I was like, oh, you know what? My mom ruined this dream. Mom, you ruined this dream for me because you sent me to a non-D1 school. No, God, please, no! We ruined all of my basketball dreams. My senior year of college, my biggest dream became I wanted to be a model. Like, I just I changed completely. I was like, I love this modeling thing. I just loved it. I love modeling and acting. So, so that was my second dream. So do you want to be a model or a basketball player? It transitioned. Well, modeling while you're playing basketball. It transitioned. <laughs> That's actually, you basketball. know what, Alexis? That would have been the best one. I should, have, I should have put the two like together. Like dribbling the ball, yeah. And she posing the ball, and then, and then doing... Like between the legs and the pose, you know? I should have... The jumper like and a pose. And and that you flick you of the wrist. You wanted to be a dancer and a basketball player? Who played play basketball like that? That was a good idea. I should have combined the two. I probably would have been more successful that way. Who is your favorite? Dada? <laughs> uh, Mama, inside. you child. I'm counting on you. <laughs> look at her. Look, did you see her? Mm. I'm counting on you. <laughs> That's funny. I'm counting on you. Favorite she wants child. me to say her. My favorite child changes all the time. If, but if, who, if I have to have a favorite, favorite child. Who's your favorite child right now? I don't. <laughs> a good question. That is, Alexis, that is a great question. <laughs> she got hey, me. Hey, she said she it. So <laughs> that is, Alexis, hey, very good. Tell us. Tell us. Tell us. Mama, tell us. She got me on that. Mama, tell us. <laughs> No, I'm being very serious. Who I feel... Um, oh, I hear the arms coming. She's trying to backtrack I'm trying here. <laughs> trying to backpedal. Who I feel like is more stuck to me each day. Put it that way. It's not, it's not even me. It's you guys. Sometimes Ava's constantly talking to me and following me around. Sometimes it's Alexis. Sometimes it's Jersey. Who did so that's now? what I mean. Ava, Alexis, and Jersey. Let's go, buddy.
my favorite child is, and you guys know this already, but I have another family in Ohio, and I have a child over there, and his name is Antonio. Antonio. So I like <laughs> Antonio. Antonio. We haven't seen each other in quite a while, but I love you. I'm, I'm glad your favorite child is the one you don't see. Yeah. No, I, 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 honestly, I don't have a favorite child. I love you all the same, and that's and it. And Java does not have a, a, another child what, in What Ohio. was his name again? Okay. Antonio. Uh, you know, the dad lives some wild times. You know. uh, what would you change about your dad? Here you go. What would you change about me? Okay, so honestly, obviously your dad is not perfect. This he is not starting good, by the way. It sounds like there's a, there's a list coming. One thing, one thing. <laughs> your dad is not perfect. I'm kidding. But I accept his flaws. Flaws? What is flaws? I didn't say flaws. I definitely don't accept his flaws. I accept your flaws. If I had to change something, like if I could wave a magic wand and just go boom, and you didn't have to work that hard at changing it, I would say you need to be a little bit more kumbaya zen sometimes. I'm taking the Zen pills. Especially they're, they're not working. I told him yesterday, I saw him taking his uh, vitamins and his uh, other things, and I picked up one bottle and it said, like, calm and relaxation. I was like, that's not working. Like, just. <laughs> I don't think so. This is what you need. You need, like, to go to a spa place or something that relaxes you, and you still get angry. Maybe but every not day. Not as much Relax. angry. But maybe I need to go every day. Like, yeah. every day, right? Do it, not every day. No, you only on one time there. You need us. Uh, I, well, let's you make need you need them to home. get you to the point where you need to go to the spot. Okay. So. Yeah. How all right. All right. We okay. are the spot. We are the spot that can make you calm down. All okay. Right. What would you change about mom? About mom. Okay. Ooh. I won't look at you, so you don't have to feel bad well, about you, anything mom, you say. You know, your mom is lovely and beautiful, yeah. but I think she uh, wears the same wig too much. Right. I, I, would, I, would, I think she should wear it. like different wigs. If that were the case, you wouldn't have anything to talk about. A red one, and maybe like uh, just a black fluffy one. Can you guys tell this is pure sarcasm? You, do you, you wear the same color beard every day. <laughs> yeah, say that again. I think I got into this relationship wanting to change things, but then you accept people's flaws because who somebody else is and what they are is not for me to change. Her journey in life is for her to be the best person she can, and she has to decide what that is. It's not for me to say, I want you to do this or be that. She's not perfect, I'm not perfect. She's less perfect than I am, but, you know. Why did you marry each other? <laughs> All right, well, I married your mom because I loved her, I love her, you know, I was in love with her, and I was like, this is a great woman, and what else am I gonna do in life? Am I gonna keep dating, going in and out of relationships? Like, here's somebody who's great. What scared me about marrying your mom is that she had you two, and I was scared to have kids, but I was like, I, didn't, I don't know about being a dad. You like, were scared? Are you saying that you were scared of us? I because was scared, you're so yeah. funny to you? I was How could this happen to me? One of the reasons that I decided to marry your mom is because I did love you girls, and I was like, oh, I want to be their dad. I'm going to be her husband. This could start and be a great family. So I think I married your mom for all the right reasons, and sometimes I'm, uh, I'm, I'm questioning it. <laughs> I married you for your money. <laughs> That's it. That's the only reason. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Come on, guys. Seriously. You serious? I, you know why I said that? Because I've seen in comments, like, I mean, lucked out, man. She had those two kids, and she found this guy who's making money, and that's why she married him, you know? And I'm like, are you guys kidding? Like, I had my whole career well before Justin came along. But I married you, Justin, Kelly, McClure. Kelly, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> <It's a girl. laughs> I married you obviously because I love you and I'm in love with you and um, I thought that you were a genuine person. Thought? And we're already married, so this is why yeah. did I marry you. Oh, I see. Okay. So, deep, right. man, deep. So, <laughs> did you? She <laughs> said deep, man, deep. <laughs> oh, no. They got married on their birthday. It wasn't so even, July it was, yeah, it was within a year. Barely within a year. I met you in July. The girls turned two in the next July. We got married then. So hey. girls, we got married pretty soon. Yeah, and a lot of that was to protect you girls. I wanted to be your dad. And legally, I wanted to you know, take that right and give it to myself and, so we could have a family. So you'll learn more about that later, but we wanted to move things along. 
What is your most embarrassing moment? <laughs> Dada, I would like to hear yours first. You know, girls, I used to drink alcohol, right? Bruh. And alcohol makes you feel a certain way. Yeah. But when okay, I was but drink, how do you remember those moments? Because I remember, you know, drinking too much and feeling a certain way and just acting ridiculous, saying ridiculous things, saying things I regret. But there's a specific moment you remember? Five years of my yeah, life. That's what I'm saying. I think Five they years a specific of my life. moment. She said, can you act it out? Please. <sighs> no. Get off on the stage. Get on. The most embarrassing moment is when I first started comedy. I did this show, and I'm trying to remember what it was for, but it was like a, a corporate event. 250 people, and they all came to see, and I was, the, I was the comedian. I was just awful. And I had a meltdown on stage while I was being awful. I was like, why don't you guys like me? Like, what's going on? Like, why don't you like me? And I remember it was so bad that the MC had to come off and like take the mic out of my hand and I had to just go off the stage still talking. Okay. It was it was, it was, it was okay. so awful. Didn't they say, it was awful. Did they say boo I don't think they said boo, but they were just like I remember I remember somebody said, What do we do to you to make you do this to us? Ah, okay, I, listen. I was like, oh my God. Act it up, but, act it no, up. but the worst part is I kept talking. I was just like, what do you, why don't you guys like me? These are all good jokes. Like, Justin. what do you, oh, it was so bad. Just Look at this dude. Let me add to that. 2005, I was bringing in New Year's in San Francisco at a comedy club, and I was so, I drank so much alcohol. I was on stage, and I was just like this. And I remember a lady and her husband, she's like, I think he's drunk up there. And then I said, what'd you say, lady? And I fell down. <laughs> I fell down and I fell on her table. And you know, but the funny part was, as I was on her table, I'm like, you're right, I am. <laughs> oh my goodness. What are you doing with your tongue? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's me thinking deep into my brain archives. So I was a teenager, I had a boyfriend at the time. Okay, girls, ah ha ha, yes, go on. You had a boyfriend? Are you serious? <laughs> he was in college and about like eight hours away, he graduated before me, he went to college like eight hours away and I wanted to go and visit. My mom said, no. She's like, nope, you're not going there, you would never. So I told, told my mom, well, I'm going to go sleep at my friend's house, my friend Michelle, you guys know, you two know Michelle. So I called Michelle and said, Michelle, if my mom calls, I'm spending the night at your house. She's like, okay. But what I actually did was I bought a train ticket, I took an eight hour train ride up to his college to go and spend the weekend there. Oh my God. Instead. Now, the embarrassment is my mom found out because she called my friend and her mom answered instead, instead of her, and was like, is Duty there? She's like, no, I haven't seen her. So then the trouble started. So my mom called the police, even though she knew where I was. She <laughs> called the police, put out missing persons report. <laughs> even when I called her to talk, like, mama, I'm up here. I know I did something wrong. Can you please call off the police? She said, no. She left the police on the entire time until I walked into her front door. Then she called them and told them that she knew where her daughter was. Even though she knew where I was, she would not call oh off the manhunt. Oh my gosh. Man, that's <laughs> savage, huh? Not playing around. So that was super embarrassing for me because number one, my friend knew, and then her, her mom was mad at me because I made, got just, it was so embarrassing. I was like, I will never do this again. So girls, the moral of the story is, don't lie to your mom and dad. We will find out. <laughs> what do you want to do when you are old? What do I want to do when I'm old? Is no, you're already old, older. Older than this, yeah. like 60? Or like no, next week? when you're like in your 80s. Older, I don't want to do anything. We've worked hard to build this family brand and business and hopefully you girls in Jersey take the reins if that's what you want to do. And you go out there and do what you want, make money, and then I'm, I'm taking the residuals because I've, I've earned it. I've, <laughs> I'm going to teach somebody else to edit it. videos and build all this stuff and that's it. I ain't doing nothing. I'm playing on a golf course and I'm going to say, I'm relaxing. I'm going to that spa you girls were talking about earlier. When I am old, and you guys are grown, I assume you're saying, I guess they're asking this because they're like, what are you guys going to do when we leave the house? I think we have nothing to do but deal with them all day long. No, we're not going to leave the house. Yeah. Okay. I already told you. I want to live with you guys. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. When I am old, I would like to, like your dad said, not too much. You know, I want to find something that I love, a hobby. I would love to travel still. Your dad and I getting experiences as two adult people. Without any kids? I'd like to get your get to know your dad a little bit better. No, I'm kidding. No, I really would like to find a, a hobby or a charity that I really love and, and maybe run that charity and just be, you know, somebody who's a mentor. Um, that's it. That's what I would like to do. Oh, that you help people like that are poor and, and old and homeless and homeless. 
Well, know? they don't need to be poor. They could. A lot they of people have money, but they're not happy. They're not doing well. They need matter. mentorship. Homeless. Yes. Sure. They will. How do you do the baby making dance? Oh! This baby making dance has been a subject of the, conversation the of ever since life. we brought, brought it up. You both need to show us. Get up and show us. Yes. One, I cannot teach you the baby making dance. That's number one. Because, hey! Listen, let me explain to you, obviously, why. Because you're seven. Are you making babies? Well, not teach us. Just show us. No, because then how do you learn something? By somebody showing you. So, no, I'm not going to show you. But I will explain to you the baby making dance happens between two people who love each other and they decide, hey, we think that maybe we want to have a baby and only people over the age of 35 can do the baby making dance. <laughs> can do the baby making dance. So you, you have to be over 35. So you got us when we were 36? She's doing the math. <laughs> Pretty good, Ava. I forgot they're really smart. Okay, so I'll take it back. Only people over the age of 30 can do the baby making dance. Yeah. The baby making dance, you use Dustin, I'm so all parts of, you. of your body. You got to make funny faces. So they take some of your body like this. out of your body? Girl, sometimes we do baby making dance. Justin! What? What'd you you are say? not allowed to make a face. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> like this? Why? I'm dead. Guys, I am dead. Oh, like I'm dead. Huh? Sometimes you show your teeth and like sometimes you... Look, look at Ava. Ava, go ahead. That's her. I'm like... Some people could do it that way, probably. Some people. That was very scary answering that last question, to be honest. I think I think we walked that line really well, those of you who know what I'm talking about. So guys, thank you for watching. Yes, Hope thank you, like you for watching. Yes. And subscribe. Yes. And subscribe and turn on notifications. And when do your videos come out, girls? Um, every Friday. 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 So if, if people like your videos or our videos, the best uh, thing you can do to support us is just watch more videos. Yes. They're free. And hopefully we get more than 5,000 followers. Thank you for watching and make sure you do more videos. Subscribe and so on the more of cases. Thank you for 